Has your sex life fallen to the same old dull routine? Then you need to try Like a Kitten's exciting sex box. You get to choose one item out of each of their six categories, toys, beauty products, lubes and cleansers, games, sexy accessories, and lingerie. Go to likeakitten.com slash holly or use code holly at checkout or click the link in the episode's description. Do you have any like great onset stories that you can she, share with us? She'd be like, uh, how was your day? I was like, oh, it was a shitty day, meaning I got pooped on. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you manage that when when that happens? Because I, you know, I've heard uh, I mean, feedback from people saying like, I couldn't do anal because I'd be so mortified if, if poop and, and that's, and I'm just like, shit happens, you know? Li- literally. And that's what it is. The girl is far more traumatized than the guy. Uh, and sometimes it's just a little bit. Sometimes it's been like a whole big old doogie on there. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, all right. And yeah, is it off-putting a little bit? Yeah, I mean, the, the the detail, but like the look and then the smell and you're like, all right, okay. Is it a boner killer? Yeah, a little bit sometimes. Yeah, but you just, it's part of the job. You got to, you got to carry on. Like I'll, I'll, like it doesn't bother me. I'm not, I'm not grossed out. And even if I am, I'm not going to show it. Like it's not, I mean, this is what it is. I mean, you're going in, you're going in the back door, you know what I mean? You better, better be risky. And these girls yeah. especially take a lot of time to prep. So they want to make sure that they're super, super clean. So if they're, if they're not, I can understand how frustrating it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's only happened a, a couple of times, you know. I mean, it it is what it is. I mean, it's just it's just a funny story that I, I like to say, and she'll be like, "Ew, that's gross." <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, it is funny because I mean, me and Leah's done anal in in our personal life a good handful of times, and she doesn't prep. She just like, All right, go in there, you know. And it's always yeah. been fine. Mm-hmm. And she's, so I guess I guess I guess I'm lucky. But I mean, it yeah. depends on different people's bodies. I mean, some people can clean out too much, you know. Um, mm. But what else has been funny on set? Um, oh God, I, I so I broke my I broke my finger on set. Broke my finger. I was running outside, slipped, and I hit my hand. Um, I still finished the scene, and then the day later, I went. I fractured my finger, fractured my hand and finger in two places. Uh, You're in set. Yeah, that wasn't good. That, that I was. think that I had you booked the next day. And I um, think you had to cancel on me because of it, yeah, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it was, because I was in LA, because I had to, um, I had to, yeah, I was running for a scene, and then I fell, and then I was like, got through it, and I was like, I have to get this checked out, because if this is broken, I can't, if I have to have my hand wrapped, it's not going to look good. Uh, but yeah, so I broke my hand. So I was in a splint. So I had to take about, I took, I took about less, just under a week off just to keep the splint on. And then I took it off and I was like, you know what? It's fine. And then another time in my first couple months in the industry, I was doing POV and I got a battery pack that fell out the camera and hit me on the nose and busted my nose open. And I have a scar on my nose. I was POV. Let's just, uh, who was it? It was, uh, God, I can't remember who it was. Crawling towards me like this. And I'm in POV then. Dink. Battery right there. Full on boner in my hand. And then my nose is just bleeding. So I was like, run to the bathroom. I'm like, all right. So wipe myself off. Uh, luckily, it was POV because I probably would have to cancel because they can't shoot me with a big gash on my nose. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, got, I was like, it's fine. It's fine. Because that's what I'm, me, I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're not canceling. We, I'm here. We're, we're doing this. And then, yeah, finished that scene too. And I was like, oh my God, I just had a Band-Aid on my nose. Bless him. The cameraman felt so bad. Even, even to this day, he feels bad. And I was like, Remember when uh, you fucked on my face? He's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a big, yikes, that's a big problem. Um, uh, I mean, uh, you I'm will... trying, uh, one, I got one more. Oh, so yeah, yeah, no, please. I, I, was, I was doing a boy, girl, girl, girl. And um, there was, what was it? One was kind of... Uh, one was kind of riding me. The other one was on my face. And the other one was like licking my butthole on my balls. But my legs were in a weird position. And then she's bouncing on me. And I was like, listen, guys. I was like, you're blowing air in and you're pushing air out. I said, my stomach's getting full. And I said, I need to fart. And they was they, they, they were laughing. They were like, I was like, no, seriously, it's just going to be air. But I was like, all right, we'll carry on. Anyway, it must something happen. But she went and somebody pushed my legs. And I just so loud <laughs> it, into the girl that's like in my butthole and then i was like and like in laughing. her face like, this is a, did her hair in, fly in her, back like beyonce in, in her face it, it was like a <laughs> <laughs> oh it's like one of those like marilyn monroe has the uh has the wind blowing up her skirt imagine yeah. that 
Um, so, but then, yeah, so everyone laughed and it was funny. And I was, but then I had to take a break for 10 minutes. So I had so much air in my stomach. I had to go and squeeze in a ball to get it all out. So, <laughs> but yeah, I warned them. I was like, I could feel, I was like, yo, I'm going to like, you either have to stop or carry on. They were like, oh, it's fine. Yeah. Just, and I just let, I was like, all right, fine. I'm just going to let it happen then. <laughs> you know, someone's got a fetish for that. You could probably sell just that specific clip to somebody for a lot of money. Oh, fart porn. I know I've heard it. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like some fart porn. You know, it is so funny. So I used to box and there was this trainer at my boxing gym who, and like everybody knew I did porn yeah. and he came up to me once and he was like, Hey, he's like, yo, he's like, so you work in the porn industry. I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, you know, he's like, I'm really into fart porn. And I was like, Oh, okay. It's like, do you like shoot any fart porn? I'm like, no, it's not really my thing. He's like, yeah. He's like, but I like like the dry farts, you know, not like the wet farts. And I was like, okay. And he was like, yeah, yeah. Fart porn and i'm just like <laughs> it was just so weird you know and, and i don't know if you get this too but like sometimes when people know that you work in the adult industry they think that they can just tell you all of like their deepest darkest fantasies because like you oh know you'll God. understand and you're just like i don't really need to hear about this i couldn't even imagine could you imagine he, he's there just jerking off being like oh yeah a dry one and the wet one comes it's like no nope, no nope, done i'm done now i can't i can't listen to it it's, one's gone from a <laughs> and you're like he's like that's oh, too where much. he draws the too, line. That's where I, draw that. I was on the edge i almost came and you spoiled it with your wet <laughs> i couldn't even imagine oh my god that's brilliant oh, oh god that's brilliant Jesus. so you uh you once said in a previous interview that um everyone's got a weird cum thing um what did you mean by that and what's yours a weird cum thing yeah. Like, like cum face or cum fetish. I don't know. A weird don't cum know. thing. God, I say them some random shit when I get interviewed, so I don't <laughs> remember. But if I said some weird, God, in context of a weird cum thing, uh, maybe a cum face. Cause I've seen maybe. some of the guys when, um, we do boy, boy, girl. And like, we're both there to finish together. And like, I like to think I don't really have a, like, like what I call the poop cum face, you know what I mean? When you're like, yeah. um, but some people I've seen, like I look up and I'm like, oh Jesus, it's just, just yeah. a weird cum face. Like, well, and especially um, if you're shooting soft core, you know, because a lot of times like we can't show the cum shot. So a lot yeah. of times they zoom up to the guy's face to kind of like show yeah. that he's coming and the guy like fakes it. Yeah. So I, I like yeah. to think I've I watched those and I think I have a very genetic, like, Oh yeah, I'm coming. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. But when people, some people are actually coming, like just the face to get there is like. <sighs> <sighs> and I could, I, I, I couldn't even imagine. Like, imagine if you're with a girl and you're like, oh yeah, baby, I'm gonna come, and she's like, yeah, come, and he's like, okay. <laughs> I can't even do it. But I mean, you'd be, you'd be like, okay, 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 don't come, don't come, don't come, don't come. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm good. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that was it, a weird cum thing. I mean, I think, I know I've talked about like different cum faces. Um, yeah. So, cause yeah, it's just very interesting yeah, to me. It's like, no, and people are going to be like, why are you looking at the guy while he's coming? I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to time it. You know what I mean? And then I look at his face. I'm like, All right, maybe I'll not, maybe I'll just look at his penis instead. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I know that like, um, sometimes guys will, if like, they feel like they're going to come too fast, they'll look at like another guy on set to like help them bring them back in the moment or, you know, not, not come that quickly. Do you ever do that? Do you ever like distract yourself by like looking at something that like oh, no, doesn't I, turn you on? I, I, I had a guy look at me and he, he came in an instant. So no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't, I wouldn't say I look at the other guy. I do mess around with like sometimes the, uh, the crew. So like if they're in a tight shot, um, I'll look at them or like sometimes like if they're tight shot, like, oh, I'm going to come and I'll look them directly in the eyes as I'm coming. <laughs> So just, just weird stuff like that for me. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't, I just, I just, honestly, I sing a song. I'll, I'll take my mind off or I'll count things on the wall. Oh, there's been times where I'm just like, it gets too much. And I push the girl off. I'm like, Nope. They're like, what's wrong? I was like, Ooh, you nearly made me come. This thing going to be over before it is because I'm old and I don't know if I got another one in me. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I just, I, I just find different distractions, you know, but, um, no, I've never really looked at the other guy. I mean, I mean, if they're making those faces, maybe I should look at them and be like, all right, this is, this is definitely off-putting. So, 
what what do you do if you show up to scene to a set and you're not attracted to your scene partner either because like physically they're not attractive to you or maybe like mentally maybe they have like a shitty attitude uh, like how do you handle I that? would I would much rather them be less physically attracted but have a great attitude than be so attractive and have a shitty attitude 100 mm-hmm. percent because I can get around everything else mm-hmm. um for me it comes down to attitude really I mean yeah you're always going to be physically sometimes not attracted to the person but if they're not attractive and they have a shitty attitude then you're going to be like oh crap two for two you know you know Mm-hmm. Um, you just have to I mean you just have to get in the zone and do it and sometimes you just have to focus on things that turn you on or try and kind of dominate the scene to to the way that you can kind of um, turn yourself on you know luckily I've not I mean it's very rare that that's happened touch wood like and normally it's just an attitude thing like if the girl's just yeah. like she acts like she doesn't want to be there that's the hardest thing you know because mm-hmm. um, then you've got to kind of like try and win them open. I, I don't. I'm not there to win anyone over. You know, I just want to mm-hmm. come in and like have some great chemistry. And like, I'm always bubbly on set. I'm always fun. I'm always like trying to make sure that we have a, have a, have a good day. Like I'm trying to. I, I want the girl to like me because it's easier for me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's again comes down to the attention. You know what I mean? So if like I feel like I'm getting a bit of attention, I feel like she's involved. It's going to help me as a performer. And I think it's going to help a lot of guys as well if they get that little bit of attention. Not that they need like okay um get me hard or anything like that it's nothing like about the physical thing it's just like if you act like you want to be there and you're kind of excited to do the scene that's all that's all i need really i don't i couldn't really it doesn't really matter if you're a two or a ten to be honest yeah 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 that makes sense take us through like what a typical day is on set like when you show up like all the steps that happen on like a typical porn day set Okay, so uh, 9, 10 a.m., girl will be there for makeup. Um, I'll probably get there around 11 or 11.30 by the time the girl's done makeup, hair, pretty girls. Um, and then we'll normally no, and go. And what are, for those who, like, don't know industry jargon, okay. what are pretty girls? So, so pretty girls are all the, the still photos that you see when you scroll through the website, all the high-definition photos of her in her, in her bra and panties and then, stripping basically stripping down from there you know she'll have a nice set of lingerie with heels and then she'll do a lot of poses all the way down to fully nude and um the company will promote those that only takes about god and that can, that can take anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour depending on a lot of it's set up too because once they've done makeup if they're not set up for photos they've got to set up for photos so normally i i say from hair and makeup for pretty girls i, I normally say about two hours two and a half hours uh, and normally i i'm if I work for a company a lot, I'll just get the director's number. And especially if I'm local, I'll like, just text me when you're in Pretty Girls and I'll be on my way. Or text me when you're halfway through Pretty Girls. Because um, mm-hmm. sometimes I get there, especially in Vegas, and I'm like, you're not even out of makeup yet? Yeah. <laughs> Why am yeah. I here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? So, but this because there's always times where it's like, okay, call time is 12. And like, oh, I can uh, actually come at 1. Actually come at 1.30. Because they're just running behind. I mean, it happens. So, yeah, I do that all uh, the time. I always have the male talent. I'm like, text me because I'm saying one, but like, we may not need you till four. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. And I appreciate that because I'd rather be, then I can get other stuff done, you know? Yeah. Um, but once I get onto set, normally nowadays, God, if, if the shoot goes good four hours from when I get there and get out, depending on the script. I mean, it's, if it's a feature, it's a little different. There's a lot of dialogue, it's a little different. If there's a lot of dialogue, it's going to take longer. But it's not much dialogue, I mean. God, I was on a, I, I think quickest I've been in and out. This was anal for, for Mind Geek for us. And I was, I got there at 11. <laughs> Luna Star was like, she comes in, she's like, okay, okay. I need to be at the DMV at 2.30. And so this is 11 a.m. when I got there. And I was like, all right. She was like, she was like, they were like, yeah, she failed to mention this. I love her, bless her. She was like, so we've got to get this going. Boom, popped at 1.50. She's like, yes, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so I was there, I was there less than three hours. But it was great. That was, I think that was wow. that an anal scene too. She was just, I mean, she's great. She's always, she's always on it. Luna like Star is like, uh, I actually shot her in like a really high production scene for yeah. browsers with Mick Blue and somehow it didn't get communicated to her that it was an anal scene. Um, oh, shit. and we get to set and she was like, Oh, it's an anal scene. And she was like, no problem. She was like, all right. I just like, give me some dildos. Like give me an enema. Like what? And she was like, good to go. Cool. The scene went perfect. No problems. Like easy. Uh, yeah. Some people like that. I, I mean, we've had to, uh, I know some of the guys that like have like really, really big penises 
some of the girls can't take it in the vagina and sometimes if they can they'll switch it to anal because they can do it better in anal and even the girls request can we just do anal because it's going to be more comfortable yeah which in the beginning which in the beginning yeah work like that yeah yeah and then i was like oh wow going into a sex store can be overwhelming you may spend hours browsing the shelves only to realize that you came home with stuff that you can't really use or maybe you forgot like one crucial ingredient this is why like a kitten is so amazing because they let you build your own box so you can kind of choose your own adventure you get to choose one item out of each of their six categories toys beauty products lubes and cleansers games sexy accessories and lingerie go to like a kitten.com slash holly or use code holly at checkout or click the link in the episode's description. 